no whiskey for sale. You get caught, no fail. One thing up here is what with bourbon, it's music. Seems like everyone in Kentucky, if they don't play music, their, their cousin does. It's just what we do here. You know, we, we've entertained ourselves for a long time. Appalachia was kind of an enclosed little area. And, we just learned to do a lot of things on our own and playing music is one of them. And making bourbon was another thing we learned to do quite well. Got anything oh. you would add to that? Yeah. <laughs> that pretty much sums it up. When they talk about distillery experiences here in Kentucky, they're not messing around. I'm here at Log Still Distillery, where they have their own tasting room, they distill their own bourbon, and they have, I don't know, this huge amphitheater. It's exciting for me to be able to work here and there be live music. Music in the background, people got a different vibe about them, and you're listening to music and you're drinking bourbon. It's always kind of like that. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Standing up there and it's being constructed, and we're like, well, what can we do with all of this space. What we were trying to create here for the distillery is experiences, great memories. And what better way to do that than really bring music here. When you can match up a true native Kentucky spirit, right, our national spirit, with music, that to me means that you're marrying two things that are inherently American and ultimately inherently Kentucky. It all starts with this guy, Bill Monroe. You know, he was an early star of the Grand Ole Opry back in the 30s and 40s. He brought his own style of music, and he named his group the Bluegrass Boys because he wanted everybody to know he was from the Bluegrass State. As you might imagine, a lot of people who come here not only like bluegrass music, but they play. And so we wanted to make it easy for them to make a joyful noise when they show up. You ever played a banjo ukulele? No, I've always wanted to, though. <laughs> Well, let's hear you. I, I was talking about it before I came, I was like, I hope you have banjo lilies. See, dreams do come true here they at the do. Bluegrass Music Hall of Fame. Two, three, when you think about bluegrass music, it's really a mashup of, you know, old time string band and Scotch-Irish fiddle music and gospel music. You know, when I think about the bourbon industry, when I think about the culture of, of bourbon, similar, similar to the culture of, of bluegrass music, but I think about that it's rooted in history, it's rooted in place, it's rooted in people, and that heritage is really not lost. Yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah. You're in the band. Yeah, you're hired, you're hired. <laughs> What's your favorite song to play on the guitar? Uh, probably Whiskey Before Breakfast. Okay. That's perfect. <laughs> Do you drink whiskey for breakfast, Marker? 